three, two, one. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode three of the Notre Dame Experience. I'm your host, Arwen Arzadon. I'm the co-host, I'm Lucas Brown. And today we have Emily Hammond here to interview to talk about school spirit during Corona. How are you today, Miss Emily? What's going on? What's happening? Nothing, nothing new. Good, you know, getting ready to finish this module up with school in this class. So mm, I feel that. You want to yeah. tell us a little bit about what you do at Notre Dame? Yeah, um, I'm one of the vice presidents. You know, I try to help out as much as I can, obviously, with COVID. Can't really do much. But mm -hmm. I'm here right now, so this is something, you know. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's pretty Try swag. Pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, I, since we're all on council, I, I feel like this would be like a great like topic to talk about because like we can all pitch in on a lot of things. But I feel like Emily can especially pitch in because she's been running like our instagram account for those of you who don't know or don't even follow like like what are you even doing follow <laughs> Andy Irish on, Council on all Irish social Council. media platforms sure. um yeah emily runs the instagram account and i think she's been doing a pretty awesome job she's we wanted to talk about the school spirit and stuff time. so mm -hmm. hmm. this is pretty so, epic um yeah, so Sorry. How, how has the council reacted to, like, all this corona stuff and the lockdowns and nothing in person? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was pretty difficult in the beginning because, you know, as much as it's difficult to get student involvement, it's significantly easier when we're in person, kind of, like, in people's mm -hmm. faces, like, oh, you should come to this For dance sure. or, you know, we have to come to this assembly. Yeah. So it's yeah. a lot more difficult online, but I think we've adapted yeah. well. It's been that social media in the past I really followed it not mm -hmm. now but there's a significant higher amount of people like our halloween thing if people weren't following it we wouldn't have had as many posts as we did yeah totally. so we kind of adopted have to like adapt to like virtual which you know is difficult but it's pretty much yeah. all we can do especially when trying to keep you know maintain covid protocols and involve both cohorts we kind of have to make it like half and half yeah especially mm -hmm. because all of this was just like we had no experience doing pretty much anything yeah. virtual. Everything was in person before uh, COVID, so it's all new stuff. It's new ground, but I think we've been we've been reacting to it as best as we can with all the spirit weeks and uh, and special stuff we've had going on online, prize raffles and stuff. I think we've been we've been getting our stuff done, you know. Mm hmm for sure i think it's awesome that we've been like able to do all this like despite the circumstances that we're under like in terms of like i guess people being disconnected because of covid like you know obviously physically disconnected because of social distancing and limiting the amount of people you can be around i think social media was a great way to like connect everyone back together you know what i mean like yeah I don't know. It's. I think it's. I think we've been doing really well. I think, um, Emily. Like, I like the way that you've been advertising everything like consistently through social media. Like for me, like I run the Twitter account, and like I mean, not a lot of people use Twitter as avidly as they use Instagram. So I think you've been doing an amazing job. Like, I was wondering if you could really talk about like, um, the amount of cu communication that you've been doing like through social media, like in terms of like getting, um, you know, new. I guess like council stuff like out there putting out like the word you know spreading the word for like new activities that we're planning i was wondering like if you could maybe talk about that a little bit yeah um i mean i kind of try to post reminders so usually with council we say okay you know talent show submissions are due on Monday. true the talent show yeah march whatever i try to post every once in a while because it seems to miss the post so i try to keep you know keep consistently and especially like you know the rest of council usually repost it which is a big help um a lot of people not so much at the beginning of the year but especially now that we're kind of doing more all right so um Things have been hard with the council, especially because our big events are like semi and the dances and spirit weeks and stuff with a lot of uh, school engagement. So I think that we've been doing really well with the spirit events, like with the Valentine's Day, we got a bunch mm -hmm. of submissions and we have the upcoming St. Patrick's Day spirit week. So you want to tell us a little bit about those? 
Yeah, I mean, at St. Patrick's Day, we kind of, a lot of it's similar to Valentine's Day, but there's a bunch of new things, seeing as, you know, we are fighting Irish. Yeah. So we kind of wanted to make, you know, St. Patrick's Day, you know, more eventful. I mean, it's kind of, I guess, part of our school. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. people will go for that. We will probably be posting on social media soon. Mm -hmm. I assume. Because <laughs> it is, yeah. you know. We're getting there. We're getting there. Very close. soon. It's like the week March break would have been. Yep. So. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good that we're getting to do at least something for what would have been March break, you know? Instead of. Cause yeah. We're in class, for sure. And I feel this one's more phys like in person too, whereas Valentine's Day was all kind of virtual. Now this yeah. one is more spirit in mm -hmm. school, like physically when we're there too. Yeah, so I think that's awesome that, that like, like we'll be able to do that. What's the in person stuff gonna look like? Uh, well, I guess find out. <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't really announced anything yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But, you know, there will be opportunities to. You know, dress up. Spoiler alert. Um, I think you know, saw that maybe coming. out of uniform. You know, <laughs> but we will be a lot of exciting things happening. For sure. For Opportunities sure. to get involved. So obviously, keep an eye out on. Social media. Otherwise, you'll miss it, and you won't. You don't want to be that kid who you know. And the Irish Council comes in uniform. Twitter. Twitter. Mm -hmm. Follow it. Looking at you, the audience. You got to follow it. Come on now. You don't want to miss out. All of our social media platforms to know what's going on. Um, yeah, I think um, our last Spirit Week, our last virtual Spirit Week for Valentine's was really good. We, um, I think at first, like, we got, like, a few submissions, but then after that, like, word spread around, like, super fast. So I think that, like, like we got a lot of submissions after that. And I thought that was, like, like crazy how, like, I guess stuff can spread so fast through social media. So, I mean, like, it just goes to show that, like, even though things aren't, you know, what they used to be like i don't know like we have so much school spirit that like we don't even let it like get in the way of that you know what i mean like we don't like covid beat us you know what i'm saying right, let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. so i mean i think i think in terms of social media and connectivity I, and engagement mm -hmm. like notre dame has been doing extremely well and i think that show like goes to show how much school spirit we have and i think that's awesome like to be fully honest once word spread by like the third or fourth day, we had what like 15 20 submissions a day after that. The first day or two, <laughs> we only had a few for each day, and then by the end of the week, the Friday, so I had to like save all those. I was like, I don't have storage on my phone, <laughs> <laughs> like, there is a significantly higher amount of submissions at the end yeah. of the week than there was at the beginning. It's a lot. I saw in like the stories, so yeah. many. I thought it was really nice, so like that there were a lot. Post them all Especially in the stories, the that's how many there were. Especially the day where people uh, got to send in their dogs. I feel like people love that one. Yeah. Like, show your love for your brag, pets. Not to brag, but I won that day. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I thought that that was a lot of fun to, like, you know, watch everybody get engaged and involved. Yeah. And I think the students had a lot of fun with that. Like, I mean, you saw how many submissions we got. I thought that it was just, like, a great way to keep everyone together. Even though we weren't, like, you know, together physically, we're, like, together there, like, you know, I guess, mm -hmm. online. And I think that's epic. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. some people even did, like, their whole class participating. Yeah. Oh, yeah, them, yeah. Which is cool. But awesome. I think that's what the next, you know, Spirit Week is. We're going to try to involve classes more and do more competition in school, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. That'll be fun. Hopefully, I think that's uh, great, yeah. Join. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. I think that's great, because, like, last time was just, like, online, and now, like, here we have, like, a chance for in-person students to get more involved, and I think that's yeah. awesome to us. Yeah, that's like, awesome. the average student who doesn't really get involved in anything and doesn't contribute, they'll get a chance to if we do it in their classes. Mm -hmm. and if we do more in-person stuff, because I feel like people are more ready to contribute, like se sending in a photo or dressing up if their class does it, instead of just doing it by sending in a photo online. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially, like, you know, I think it was, like, Irish Day. I mean, if you're at home, it's not very likely that you're going to put on the uniform or put on, you know, yeah. school, <laughs> like, you know, 
yeah. merch or whatever. But, you know, when we're yeah. actually at school, if everyone else is doing it, they're like, okay, let's do it. We're actually going to yeah. be there in person, which I think, yeah. you know, will help. Yeah. It's really nice to hear that we're getting these, getting some traction on these spirit weeks because it's what we would have done in any regular year, just a little mm-hmm. different. So. So yeah, so seeing good. that we have all this engagement and all this success with the spirit weeks and all the stuff we've been doing it, it's just really good to see because i wouldn't have expected any of this to be happening like mm-hmm. what 14 months ago yeah for sure like i don't know last year mm-hmm. sorry mm-hmm. I think we learned a lot from no, last year because last year we tried to do a uh, spirit week towards like the end because we were really out of school yeah, I think we kind of learn like what works, what doesn't work, which yeah. you know that was good for this mm. year. I mean, hope obviously we hoped we could have done you know more in school events and spirit weeks this year, but we did what yeah. we had to do. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Like, um, I know that like things are like different now, but like it's still it's it still gets me like reminiscing on like last year, like even in like the ninth grade, on like actual like spirit weeks and like the whole like scavenger hunts and like i remember like having like hot chocolate it sucks that like i don't know like mm, like some people are missing out on that and that i don't know that it's it's like sad but but i don't know like at, at least like we have those like memories to hold on to and at least like kids who are doing like virtual spirit weeks now like they have like these kinds of memories to hold on to whereas like you know people from previous years don't like have those kinds of memories to hold on to because we didn't yeah. do it before like this no, is all new this is all recent we'll get the past opportunities again like hopefully the grade nines and tens yeah, now sure. hopefully hopefully change go, like, mm-hmm. to, like do the scavenger hunts go to semi go to the day oh, yeah for sure and yeah we handed out what was it candy canes and, and then candy, ice cream but that. it's not the same thing as if we were like no. You know, mm. at an assembly or, you know, Christmas talent show is kind yeah. of like, oh, here you go. Here's some ice cream. Yeah. But or when we do the ice cream <laughs> and hot chocolate and stuff in the, in the winter uh, around mm. Christmas time. Yeah, that and didn't happen either. Good times. Good times. And I'm sure that we'll yeah. be able to, uh, to do more of that stuff uh, in the next year and in the next few years. And we're gone. And there's yeah, for members, sure. But- I hope so. I really hope so. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'd, hate, I'd hate to see the, the great nines miss out on that. Hope, you Honestly. know, by the end of this year, you know, the goal would be, you know, prom and grad, but hopefully yeah. you guys, you get that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope by the end of the year, you guys get to yeah, experience that again, though, Emily, like. Because like, mm-hmm. the grad yeah, is. Grad. Mm-hmm. I already ordered my grad gun, but I'm like, hmm. I wonder what's going to happen with that. Am I just going to like wear it? Yeah, <laughs> or the grand picture, right? Oh, and luckily we got grad photos, the grade 12s yeah. at Dame, because other schools didn't even have a chance to get that yet. So, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that just makes it all the better that we're able to do stuff virtually, right? Mm-hmm. And at least get... Yeah, uh, like it's better than that thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, if it was, like, 10 years ago, we wouldn't have, like, you know, as many mm-hmm. social media or pe- people on social media to follow and get involved. But, you know, now we're able to do that. Yeah, especially because everybody's on social media and everybody follows or should follow the ND Irish Council on Instagram. Get your mm-hmm. news, get your updates. Uh, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's awesome that we get to do this stuff because, like you said a few years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, none of it would have been possible. Yeah, that was a really good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I was going to ask, like, for those students who haven't been as involved as, like, you know, they should be, or as other students have been, I was wondering, Emily, if you could talk about, like, ways that they could start to get involved or ways, like, to engage themselves, like, even though, like, I guess... Like, especially, like, for newer students who probably think, like, oh, like, why would I post a picture to Instagram, like, with my dog? That's weird. That's, like, I don't know. <laughs> um, I was wondering if you could talk about how you could, like, encourage them to, to do that and how yeah, like, important I mean, school student is for high school. Primarily, even if they don't want to get involved, even still just following the social medias, 
because mm-hmm. at least they're seeing other people's. Maybe that will encourage them. They might think, oh, it's stupid because no one does it. But then if they follow the social media and see people are doing it, I'd be like, oh, okay. And at least if they don't want to post it, they're at least showing support by following, by you know, mm-hmm. liking the yeah. posts and stuff. Yeah, and if they see their friends on the on the stories who sent in their dogs or their families for the Spirit Week. That would make me want to do it if I wasn't already on council. If I saw some of my buddies putting that stuff, I'd I'd send in a photo. Yeah, for sure. Same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I don't know. I think like like the influence that like our social media has had on the students has been like really great. And I just wanted to like thank you for all of the hard work that you've been like putting into that and to oh, making sure like yeah, like, we've been, like, spreading the word and, like, getting to everyone. I think it's, like, I, like, can't even express how much of a great job you've been doing. And, like, I think that's, yeah. like, awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be fair, it's all social media, though, too. I'm kind of just, you know, doing... That's true. Yeah, that's true. I mean, to be fair, I think that the Instagram does have the most, mm-hmm. you know, traffic. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah we have a website, but some people might not even know we have a website. Yeah, it has the most... So. I'd say at least, like, two-thirds of the people in our school have instagram and use it right yeah i feel like the other things mm-hmm. you know like twitter and facebook yes yeah, some people might have it but they aren't mm-hmm. on it as much as instagram instagram yeah. is like one of those things like tiktok you're just kind of always on it every day just like scrolling so <laughs> you come across accounts and, yeah, and then be like, oh. snapchat too would like a lot of people have it but it doesn't have the same like ability as instagram instagram has the posts and the stories on snap you can only have mm-hmm. the stories and follow our Snapchat and the Irish Council. Mm, all of the social media platforms are and the Irish Council, so I mean we're easy to find. For sure. Um, I was gonna talk about how like. I don't know. I really like hearing the feedback from students about our Spirit Weeks. Like I remember, I was um, like, mm, <laughs> uh, every time I'm in like a PlayStation party, I was gonna say every time I hang out with my friends, but that's not true. I don't hang out with my friends um every time i'm like playing playstation or whatever like and an event from like council happens or whatever like my friends are always like talking about it like oh like arwen like i saw like the social media post like i saw all these people posting like i think like like look at this dog like did you see this person's dog like so cute i think like i don't know even just like talking about it with your friends like you don't have to actually like get involved like sending in a picture like if you don't feel comfortable with it but i think like talking about it amongst your friends like for those of you listening like is involvement enough like i think that is like yeah another way to like get the word out you know what i mean to spread the word and to kind of like show that like you are getting engaged because you're showing like attention to like the stuff that we post to the stuff that we're talking about the stuff that we're getting out there so i mean i don't know i think it's nice to hear when students talk about like what's going on especially with talent like the talent show because i think that's that ended what like last week like on the f- the first like that was the Monday, the deadline yeah. for submissions <clears throat> yeah like people were talking about that too so i think like even just talking about it amongst your peers like is another way to get involved like there are so many different ways to get involved like in terms of what emily said like following the social media account or like you know actually sending in a submission or like liking our posts i think talking about it would also do us good so i mean yeah mm. like on an individual basis just yeah. talking about it with your friends and other students it's like it builds your school spirit just because you're mm, taking for sure in yeah and what people in your school did what your school is doing to make things fun mm. yeah it's just really great to see you love to see it and we love to see it for real for real we love- <laughs> um yeah. yeah so i don't know like emily i think again just to like talk about the success of the like the spirit events like in terms of i guess like our valentine spirit week you like talked about the uh submissions and everything like that i was wondering if you could also talk about like um other stuff like for like i guess like in terms of like social media like i guess could you like talk about how many like likes we've been getting and like how many like how much exposure we've been getting like is advertising like successful in that sense like yeah i can actually pull it up right now because i have it but Mm -hmm. we do get as soon as i post it's like right away there's always like a couple people that have liked it no matter when i post Mm -hmm. so i think that's like traffic especially 
not even just students, but a lot of parents are also on the Instagram. Ooh. Which obviously that yeah. kind of helps because then they tell their kids about it and then they're like, yeah. okay. You know, if you're a student, you might just be scrolling by like whatever, but a lot of times I parents are like, oh, did you hear about this at your school? I think like, follows the account. <laughs> That's funny. Like your mom busts through your door, like holding her phone. Like, hey, did you see the post? It's not a uniform. It's not a uniform today. <laughs> yeah, but I've tried to like you know make it you know look more presentable. Not that it wasn't mm-hmm. before. Yeah. It looks but, like, yeah, I think it looks easier really to good. access. So, the mm-hmm. especially the highlights. Like I made yeah. the highlights. I sectioned them off. So like mm-hmm. if you remember, oh, there was something about Valentine's Day. It's like, oh, there you go. There's a highlight about it. And I'll mm-hmm. do the same thing probably for, you know, the Irish Spirit Week, the March Break Spirit Week. Mm-hmm. But I think at the beginning of the year, we started at just over 400 followers. And now we're reaching 700. So there's well, a significant awesome. difference what? in the beginning. And I think it's yeah. mainly because COVID, because this is how we're kind yeah. of, you know, yeah. we're, we're getting spreading new information. Though, right? But, you know, it's a good, you know, change yeah. than it was before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that also helps everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like... Uh... All the exposure we've been getting, it's just so great. It's just, you, like, seeing all the traffic we've been getting and everything, it's just, like, all the students who are getting involved in the Spirit Weeks and not even getting involved, just looking at the account and seeing all our stuff, it just mm-hmm. gives you that extra push to want to do more especially with all the virtual stuff that's a little bit harder yeah. than just doing stuff in person. Yeah, so. for sure. I think, and, like, the... Oh, sorry! <laughs> you finished with that? No, go ahead. Cool. Okay. Um, I was gonna say, I think, like, the important thing to take away from this is the fact that, like, we've all stayed, like, together, like, as a school, like, through, like, thick and thin, and, like, the fact that, like, we're even, like, beating like covid and like beating like the circumstances just goes to show like because this podcast today is about school spirit i think it does go to show like how much spirit we have and not only just like the fact that we're a community but the fact that we are as a school collectively we are a family and i think like this like although like times are hard right now it just goes to show like how strong like you know notre dame is and i think i would like to applaud everybody for that all of you listening like you yeah, like, let's get a round of applause. That's awesome. I think everyone has done a great job. And I mean, like, I don't know. It's just, I think it's great to take that away from what we've been talking about. And I think, like, to talk about, like, all of the hard work that Student Council has been, like, putting into and, like, especially talking to Emily about that today, I think it just goes to show, like, how much our, like, school community means to us and how much, like, I guess it means to the students as well. Like, all of the work that we put into it, it goes to show that our efforts and our works are, like, being, you know, I guess, like, appreciated by the students. And I think that it's awesome that we're all, like, working together. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just students' council, like, working at, like, engaging in school spirit. It's also the students, right? We have to give them a big round of applause and a lot of credit for that. And, yeah, for sure. Like, I think this has been, like, awesome. And, um, Emily, like, I was wondering, like, if you had anything else you wanted to say, like, Yeah, especially school spirit wise. It was hard to tell before COVID how many people were actually involved and like appreciated what we're doing. Because oh, like yeah. we weren't like doing like polls or surveys, we're like, oh, how did you like the dance? How did you like the spirit week? But now you can kind of just see what the amount of people are participating and yeah. commenting and asking questions. So that's yeah. actually good to know. Like we didn't really get that before. Before I think we just assumed like, oh, people enjoy it because people are, you know, showing up to dances or, you know, being at a uniform, but it's one thing to show up at a uniform than to just do it because, like, oh, everyone else is doing it, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. So now I feel like if we get a lot more, like, we if, it's be- better to, like, know, it's easier to know how much, like, we actually appreciate it, that people actually like what yeah, we're doing, not just, like, doing know, it just to do it. Yeah, so thanks a lot, Emily. Thanks for coming on. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything else you want to say? Nothing much, just stay uh, safe and healthy, and hopefully we'll all be yeah. back at school. For sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, thank Thanks you for talking with us today, Emily. I think this has been, like, really good. It's very informative. For sure. And, hmm, again, I'm just follow the social medias, everyone. You need to. Yeah, yeah. Irish Council. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we also have a website, so check that out once in a while, you know? True. Okay. Please do check that out. Um, yeah, please, well... I... Please check out the website, please. Please, please. That's Owen from behind the scenes. Please check it out. I'm peeking back from behind <laughs> so... the curtain. It's a bang <laughs> on my Let's hand. To that. We need to... Please check the website. That's how, that's how big a deal is. The Owen Gallagher is telling you to do it. Mm-hmm. The man, the myth, the legend. So that means you gotta do it. You're obligated to now. Yeah. Well, okay, I guess that wraps up our third episode of the podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, would you like to do an exit or something? Like, in- say your names again. Say, like, what's what's up, what's happening, what's good. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Lucas Brown, Arwen Arsdon, Emily Hammond. Mm-hmm. We'll see you yeah, next time. Our-